Do you want to earn money without working all the time? If so, you need to create assets that generate passive income for you. Hey there, awesome viewers. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I will share with you 12 assets that can work for you and produce passive income. However, before we start, let me make one thing clear. There is no such thing as passive income without doing any work. You have to put in some effort up front to create or acquire these assets, and sometimes you have to monitor or update them. But once you do that, you can enjoy the benefits of passive income for a long time. So subscribe to the channel and let's get started. All right, let's kick things off by breaking down the concept of assets. An asset is like a little financial powerhouse that holds value and has the potential to bring in money over time. Think of it as your money's wingman, working behind the scenes to give you a financial boost. Now, here's where it gets exciting. Let's talk about passive income. Picture this. Passive income is like having a dedicated sidekick that does all the heavy lifting while you sit back and enjoy the rewards. It's the money you earn from something you've invested in, be it your time, money, or energy without having to constantly put in effort to keep the cash flowing. It's the dreamy notion of earning while you're sleeping or sipping your favorite drink on a beach somewhere. Now here's where assets come into play. An asset is the vehicle that drives passive income straight to your doorstep. Think of it as your financial engine, generating income with minimal effort on your part. Let's say you invest in stocks or bonds. These clever little assets have the power to churn out passive income for you. When you own stocks, you might receive dividends, a share of a company's profits. And as for bonds, they dish out interest payments like clockwork. That's right, your money is out there working hard for you without you having to break a sweat. And talking about dividends. I have a tip for the day, which I will be sharing later on in the video, on what industry to look at when searching for stocks with good yearly revenue. So please pay attention. All right, let's dive into the exciting part. Assets that can work for you. Each of these assets has its own unique features and benefits. With that said, let's get started with the first of the 12 assets that can work for you. And that is real estate. Your home is like your sanctuary, but when it comes to assets, it's not quite what we're talking about. You see, your home is not an asset because you live there. And let's be honest, it costs you money to maintain it. Those monthly mortgage payments, repairs, and utility bills can add up fast. But don't worry. There's a way to turn the tables and transform real estate into a powerful asset that works for you. Imagine this. You buy another property, maybe an apartment or a house, and instead of living in it, you decide to rent it out. Suddenly, that property becomes an asset, a source of passive income that generates money for you while you kick back. It's like having your own money-making machine. You're not actively working for this income. It's flowing in because of your smart investment choice. But here's the exciting part. Properties aren't the only real estate assets that can work in your favor. Think beyond houses and apartments. You can also venture into other types of real estate like land or spaces. Imagine having a soccer field, a skating rink, or a swimming pool that you can rent out to people looking for some recreational fun. It's like owning a piece of the action without having to be present all the time. These are examples of real estate assets that can turn into streams of passive income. Now let's talk about taking it up a notch. When your real estate assets start requiring a team to operate, say you have a pool lifeguard or a handyman looking after things, that's when things get interesting. Your assets start to resemble a business. And while businesses have the potential to generate income, they do require your active involvement and management. You're overseeing operations, dealing with customers, and making sure everything runs smoothly. And here's the golden nugget. A business can indeed be more profitable than passive income, but it comes with its fair share of risk and responsibility. But don't worry, because all these paths are interconnected by one vital factor, financial education. It's not enough to earn money. You need to know how to manage and invest it wisely. Without this knowledge, even the most substantial earnings can slip through your fingers like sand. As the wise Morgan Housel once said, spending money to show people how much money you have is the fastest way to have less money. So remember, it's not about flaunting wealth. It's about making it work for you through smart choices and a solid financial foundation. Now let's move on to our next asset that can work for you, and that is intellectual property. 
This is where your creativity can truly shine and bring in a steady stream of passive income. Imagine being able to create, license, or sell your original works. It's like turning your ideas into valuable assets. Creating intellectual property involves putting your unique skills to work, whether you're crafting a novel, composing music, coding software, designing a patent, or establishing a trademark, you're essentially creating something that holds value. But how do you turn this into a passive income generator? Licensing is one powerful route. It's like lending your creation to others for a fee. For instance, let's take a look at the iconic author J.K. Rowling. She transformed her imagination into the beloved Harry Potter series. Through licensing, her characters, stories, and magical world were adapted into movies, theme park attractions, merchandise, and more. With each of these adaptations, she earned a piece of the revenue without needing to actively write new books. That's the magic of intellectual property. It can keep working for you, even when you're not directly involved. Selling your intellectual property is another option. Think of it as passing on the torch. Imagine you've created a unique software application. You can sell the rights to that software to another company or individual, allowing them to use, distribute, and even modify it. In return, you receive a lump sum or ongoing royalties. It's like getting paid for your creation's journey into the world. So, whether it's a novel that takes readers on an epic adventure or a patented invention that solves real-world problems, your intellectual property can be a powerful asset. It's a way to transform your ideas into a constant source of income, all while leaving your creative mark on the world. Just remember, building intellectual property requires not only talent, but also strategic thinking to maximize its potential for passive income. All right, let's move to the next asset that can work for you, that is, heavy machinery. Picture this, many small and medium-sized companies are like the underdogs in a David versus Goliath match when it comes to acquiring heavy machinery. They find it hauntingly expensive, and that's where you come in as the strategic hero. Imagine being the key player who steps in with a solution. You invest in specialized equipment, those robust giants like bulldozers, cranes, and excavators, and you lease them out to these companies. It's like being the heavyweight champion in a tag team match where everyone wins. Sure, the initial investment might be on the higher end of the scale, but remember, in the world of assets, it's about playing the long game. These machines, when put to work in construction, manufacturing, or any industry that requires muscle power, churn out returns that are not just excellent, but also completely passive. That's right, once they're up and running, you're earning without breaking a sweat. Let's throw in a couple of examples to paint the picture. Imagine having a fleet of cranes available for rent to construction companies that need to lift heavy loads with precision. Or perhaps you own a lineup of bulldozers that grading companies can't wait to get their hands on. These are the tools that businesses need to get the job done, and you're the one making it possible. So think about it. You're not just investing in machines, you're investing in the success of other businesses. It's like being the backstage magician who makes the show happen. And yes, the returns might start as a trickle, but as the demand for your equipment grows, that trickle can turn into a river of passive income. Remember, while others might see heavy machinery as a financial burden, you're seeing it as an opportunity, an asset that can work for you, even when you're not in the driver's seat. So gear up and get ready to turn those big machines into even bigger profits. It's time to pave your own road to success in the world of assets. All right, now let's talk about an asset that's all about fun and entertainment also can work for you, that is, game machines. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far and want more content like this, comment the word more so I'll notice. Imagine this, you invest in these captivating machines that offer hours of joy to customers, and in return, you charge them for the thrill they experience in arcades, bars, and various venues. Game machines are not just an investment. They're a source of delight and revenue that can turn anyone's day around. What makes game machines truly fascinating is their ability to appeal to a wide range of audiences. Whether it's the classic nostalgia of pinball, the strategic challenge of arcade games, or the adrenaline rush of racing simulators, there's a game for everyone. And as people come together to compete or simply enjoy themselves, your asset is there, 
silently working its magic in the background. But what's even more intriguing is the story of Warren Buffett, a name synonymous with investment wisdom. Back in 1946, when he was just getting started, he seized an opportunity that changed his life forever. With a mere $25 investment in a pinball machine, he set the wheels in motion for a venture that would eventually become one of the most profitable endeavors he ever embarked upon. In numerous interviews, Buffett reflects on how that humble pinball machine was a key stepping stone in his journey to success, showcasing that even the simplest of assets can have a profound impact. Just think about it. While you might not be the next Warren Buffett, investing in game machines can be your own version of that pinball moment. As people gather around, laugh, and challenge each other, your game machines become more than just an asset. They become memories, experiences, and yes, even sources of revenue. Now let's dive into the exciting world of vending machines. Next asset that can work for you. Imagine having your very own army of mini stores strategically placed in bustling locations, working tirelessly for you. Vending machines are like your silent partners in the business world, generating passive income while you're off doing other things. Picture this. You invest in vending machines that sell a variety of products from tasty snacks to refreshing drinks or even unique items that cater to specific niches. These machines become your automated salespeople, available 24-7, ready to serve customers day and night. The key to success with vending machines is location. Imagine setting up a machine in an office building where hungry employees are always on the lookout for a quick snack. Or placing one in a gym where fitness enthusiasts need convenient, healthy options after a workout. These strategic placements mean more sales, which translates to more passive income for you. But that's not all the beauty of vending machines lies in their simplicity. Once they're up and running, they require minimal maintenance. You'll need to restock them periodically, but that's about it. No need for constant oversight or management. It's like having a well-trained team that takes care of itself. Plus, vending machines can cater to a wide range of tastes and preferences, from energy bars for the health conscious to indulgent treats for those seeking comfort, your vending machines can offer something for everyone. So why invest in vending machines? Well, they offer a low entry point into the world of passive income. With the right strategy, they can generate steady cash flow without demanding much of your time. It's a simple yet effective way to diversify your income streams and make your money work for you. In a nutshell, vending machines are the ultimate combination of convenience and profitability. They offer you a chance to enter the realm of passive income with a hands-off approach. So whether you're sipping coffee on a Sunday morning or exploring new horizons, your vending machines will be out there quietly earning for you. All right, let's move to the next asset that can work for you, that is stocks. An asset that has stood the test of time and proven to be a powerful wealth-building tool. When you invest in stocks of companies you believe in, you're essentially becoming a part owner of those companies. And here's the beauty of it. As these companies grow and succeed, so does your investment. Stocks are like the backbone of passive income, a true classic in the investment world. Now, why are stocks often hailed as the best investment over time? Well, it's simple. Historically, stocks have shown an incredible ability to outpace inflation, and generate significant returns. While the journey might have its ups and downs due to market volatility, in the long run, stocks have consistently proven to be a wise choice for those looking to build their wealth. In today's case, it's totally crashed, but yeah, it's a different topic. But not all stocks are created equal. You see, there are different types of stocks out there. One interesting category is dividend stocks. These are the ones that don't just rely on capital appreciation for returns. They also pay out a portion of their earnings to shareholders in the form of dividends. It's like getting a piece of the company's profits on a regular basis. However, it's important to note that dividend stocks may not experience the rapid growth that some non-dividend stocks do. They're like the steady tortoise in the race, while others might be the speedy hare. So how do you identify dividend stocks? Well, it's all about doing your homework. Start by researching the company's financials, look for stable earnings and a history of consistent dividend payments. Dive into their track record during economic downturns. If they manage to maintain or even increase their dividends, 
it's a good sign. And of course, keep an eye on the dividend yield. This tells you how much the company pays in dividends relative to its stock price. In a world of investment opportunities, stocks stand tall as a dynamic asset that can make your money work for you. They offer growth potential, income generation, and the thrill of being part of the business world's evolution. So whether you're in it for the long haul or looking for a bit of excitement, stocks have a place in any diversified portfolio. Remember, it's not just about buying stocks. It's about investing wisely and reaping the rewards over time. And as I promised, the tip of the day is, if you are looking for stocks to invest in, consider health or medical companies. However, be selective and look for those companies that have a track record of doubling their stock prices and generating massive revenues every year. I would like to say something that I think is obvious. I'm not a financial advisor or an expert in economics. I honestly don't know what's going to happen to the stock market like everybody else. Therefore, it is important to conduct thorough research and consult with financial professionals before making any investment decisions. All right, let's dive into the next asset that can work for you. That is bonds. Imagine you're the banker in a game of Monopoly. When a player lands on your property, they pay you rent. Now, replace the Monopoly board with the real world and you've got bonds. Bonds are like loans you provide to governments or companies. When you invest in bonds, you're essentially lending money. And just like the rent in Monopoly, you receive interest payments in return. It's a win-win scenario. They get the funds they need, and you get a consistent stream of passive income. Now let's break it down a bit more. When you buy a bond, you're essentially buying a piece of debt. Governments and companies issue bonds to raise funds for various projects, building infrastructure, launching new products, or funding public services. In return, they promise to pay you back the borrowed amount at a specific date in the future. Along the way, they also pay you interest at regular intervals. Think of bonds as a way to diversify your investment portfolio. They're known for their stability. They might not offer the same potential for growth as stocks, but they provide a reliable source of income. Just like having a part-time job that doesn't require you to show up at the office. And here's where the analogy comes full circle. Just as a seasoned Monopoly player knows which properties yield the most rent, you can identify different types of bonds. Government bonds are like the high-end properties, considered very safe, but with relatively lower returns. Corporate bonds, on the other hand, are like the mid-range properties. They offer a bit more risk, but also a higher potential for returns. It's all about finding the right balance that suits your financial strategy. So, in essence, bonds are like a financial agreement, where you provide funds to governments or companies, and they pay you back with interest. It's a classic example of making money work for you without having to roll the dice. All right, guys, let's move to the next asset that can work for you that is cryptocurrencies. Picture this. You can invest in digital coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, or even the playful Dogecoin and trade them on digital platforms. It's like becoming a digital explorer, navigating uncharted waters in search of hidden treasures. Cryptocurrencies have taken the financial landscape by storm and for good reason. They're decentralized, meaning no single entity controls them. Instead, they operate on a technology called blockchain, which adds transparency and security to every transaction. It's like a global ledger that everyone can see, but no one can alter a digital marvel, changing how we think about money. Now, let me drop an important quote about cryptocurrencies that sums up their potential. As the renowned tech entrepreneur Andreas Antonopoulos puts it, in the grand scheme of history, Bitcoin is still an experiment. It's the first time we've tried to create money without relying on governments or intermediaries. Think about it. Cryptocurrencies challenge the traditional financial system, offering new possibilities for anyone looking to invest and diversify their assets. But here's the thing. While the potential for massive gains exists, so does the risk. The cryptocurrency market can be volatile, with prices skyrocketing one day and plummeting the next. It's like riding a roller coaster of emotions as you watch those candlestick charts dance. So whether you're a seasoned investor or a curious newcomer, remember to tread carefully. Educate yourself about the different cryptocurrencies, understand their use cases, and be prepared for the roller coaster ride. As with any investment, never invest more than you're willing to lose. 
Now let's step into the next asset that can work for you. That is art. Picture this. Investing in art pieces like paintings, sculptures, or even striking photographs. It's not just about owning beautiful works. It's about owning pieces of culture that hold the potential to enrich your financial portfolio. Art has this remarkable ability to transcend time. You're not just investing in a canvas or a sculpture. You're investing in stories, emotions, and moments frozen in time. As you build your collection, you're essentially curating your own little gallery of value. Imagine attending auctions or visiting prestigious galleries where these pieces come to life. The thrill of witnessing bids rise and fall, the excitement of acquiring a masterpiece, it's like being part of a grand symphony where your financial future is the sweet melody. But here's the fascinating part. Art is not just an investment in numbers, it's an investment in culture. As you delve into this world, you're bound to develop a deeper appreciation for creativity, aesthetics, and the stories that artists tell through their work. Art appreciation is a journey, much like life itself. As you learn about different periods, styles, and artists, your aesthetic sense blossoms. You start noticing the subtle play of colors, the intricate details, and the emotions that each piece evokes. It's like having your own private art education, all while potentially seeing your investments appreciate in value. Remember, art doesn't just hang on walls, it hangs in history. Each piece is a conversation starter, a window into a different era, a reflection of human expression. So when you invest in art, you're not just investing in an asset. You're investing in stories that have the power to ignite conversations, inspire generations, and potentially enhance your financial landscape. All right, let's move to the next asset then can work for you. That is wine. We're talking about an investment that's not only intriguing, but also, believe it or not, quite delicious. So imagine this. You invest in wine bottles or even start building your very own wine collection. But here's the twist you're not sipping on them just yet. Instead, you're carefully storing them in optimal conditions. It's like curating your own secret treasure trove, waiting for the perfect moment to unveil its hidden gems. Wine, my friends, is a consumable asset that has a unique ability to age gracefully, much like a fine piece of art. As it rests in your collection, its flavors mature, its character deepens, and its value, oh, it climbs. Imagine watching your investment evolve right before your eyes, or rather, your taste buds. Every year that passes, those carefully selected bottles become more than just drinks. They become valuable pieces of your financial puzzle. You've got an asset that's not only growing older, but growing richer in quality and price. And what's more interesting, as time goes on, that bottle of wine you invested in could become a sought-after vintage, commanding prices that make your initial investment seem like a mere sip in the ocean. It's like owning a time capsule that holds not just memories, but also the potential for substantial returns. Now, just imagine sharing a bottle with friends or family years down the line, knowing that each drop represents not only your exquisite taste, but also your unique investment choices. You've turned the art of enjoying wine into a journey of financial growth and appreciation. All right, let's move to the next asset, an asset that's as modern as it is powerful and that can work for you, that is websites. Imagine having a piece of the digital world that's entirely yours, a platform that offers valuable content or services to visitors. And the best part? You can turn this online real estate into a passive income generator. So how does it work? Well, you start by creating a website centered around a topic you're passionate about or an area where you have expertise. It could be anything from cooking to coding, travel to technology. The options are virtually limitless. The key is to provide content that resonates with your audience and offers genuine value. Once your website gains traction and attracts visitors, you can monetize it in a couple of ways. One popular method is through advertisements. You partner with advertising networks to display relevant ads on your site. Each time a visitor clicks on an ad or engages with it, you earn a portion of the revenue. It's like having billboards on your digital property, and the more visitors you have, the more potential income you can generate. 
Another avenue is subscriptions. If you're offering premium content or services, you can set up a subscription model. Visitors pay a recurring fee to access exclusive content, tutorials, or tools. This can create a steady stream of income that keeps flowing in without constant effort on your part. Now let's dive into the basics of how to get started. First, choose a domain name that reflects your website's theme. Then, select a reliable hosting service to ensure your site is accessible to visitors around the clock. Design your website with a user-friendly interface and engaging visuals to keep visitors coming back for more. Remember, the success of your website depends on the quality and relevance of your content. Regularly update your site with fresh articles, videos, or resources that your audience finds valuable. The more you cater to your audience's needs, the more likely they are to stay engaged and even spread the word. In the digital age, Websites have become more than just pages on the Internet. They're assets that can open doors to passive income and reach a global audience. So if you're tech-savvy, creative, or simply passionate about a subject, consider investing in a website. It's like owning a piece of the online world that can work for you 24-7, bringing in income while you focus on other aspects of your life. Now let's move on to the next asset that can work for you, and that is businesses. Imagine investing in something you're truly passionate about or leveraging your expertise to build and run a successful enterprise. Businesses are like dynamic ecosystems where your efforts translate directly into growth and prosperity. Think about it. When you invest in a business, you're not just putting your money on the line. You're investing your time, energy, and skills. It's like nurturing a seed that has the potential to grow into a mighty tree. The beauty of a business as an asset is that it empowers you with control over your destiny. You call the shots, make strategic decisions, and steer the ship towards success. But here's the kicker. It's not just about the numbers on the balance sheet. Businesses offer a level of satisfaction that's hard to match. Picture the feeling of accomplishment when you see your ideas come to life. Your products delight customers, and your hard work turns into real-world impact. It's like a puzzle where every piece you fit brings you closer to the bigger picture. Sure, businesses require effort, dedication, and sometimes even sleepless nights. But the rewards can be monumental. The success of your business can lead to financial freedom, personal growth, and a legacy you can be proud of. Remember... With great power comes great responsibility. Running a business demands adaptability, resilience, and the ability to learn from both successes and failures. So whether you're considering a startup, a franchise, or investing in an existing venture, always remember that a business isn't just an asset on paper. It's a living, breathing entity that can become an important part of your life journey. It's an adventure filled with challenges, triumphs, and the thrill of making a mark on the world. So, if you're ready to embrace the hustle, innovation, and the thrill of entrepreneurship, then investing in a business might just be the asset that ignites your passion and sets you on the path to not just financial success, but personal fulfillment as well. And there you have it, guys. 12 incredible assets that can work for you and bring in that passive income we all dream about. But remember, no matter which asset you choose, always prioritize financial education. It's not just about how much money you make, it's about how well you manage and invest it. So make your money work for you. Stay curious and as always, keep learning and growing. This video is for educational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. It is important to conduct thorough research and consult with financial professionals before making any investment decisions. The value of investments can fluctuate, and past performance is not indicative of future results. Always assess your risk tolerance and investment goals before allocating your capital. I recommend you watch the next video in our series. Don't hesitate to share this video, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.